All right, here we are at Dave & Buster. It is a draft night, which means it is time to break out Los's Grande Bordo, which I don't think is proper Spanish, but it'll work for this case. This would be Loso, and here's the Bordo, which Los was really a big old B about somebody messing with his board, but we got the board back. All right, Los, the draft is going to get in the way. Take us through the top of the draft and what jumps out. Well, the real intrigue of the night is where is a flare like Ezekiel Elliott, who's clearly a don't top just five player in this draft. Point at it. Oh, I'm sorry. Point at it. Clearly a top five player in the draft. I don't know how to turn it on. Turn the light on. Turn the light. Do you have a light? Yeah. Here. Put the light on. Fine. Fine. No. Fine. Look. Look. Let me. Let me get the Hold light. Hold on. Get a light. Because you're all upset about how this works. the light. Nice. Right. Oh, good. So Ezekiel Elliott, clearly a top five player in this draft. It's going to be very curious who makes the move up. Chuck, what are you? Chuck. I ain't even touching this board. Dude! <laughs> you can't touch Dude. the board. Dude! Real, real quick. <laughs> but that's, that's, you don't want to mess with another man's you're board. Good. But you're good. You're he, good. He just changed Dodd with losses. Is that a bad move? Yeah, Dodd only has one pass rush move. That's a double hand slap. That's it. At least Lawson has some more ability than that. All right, so go back up here, though. Elliot right. at three. Well, and the other, the other intriguing part, yeah. Miles Jack, because of that knee injury, where does he end up? Lawson, as more of a, like, get close to the quarterback guy <laughs> versus Dodd, who actually gets the it's guy on the ground. So. Grande it's Lawson's Grande Bordeaux. Y'all go back to what you did. Y'all are good. <laughs> so then the next thing comes down to the best defensive end, the best 4-3 defensive end in this draft is Joey Bosa. Everybody looks at him as an 8-10 to sack guy. That's still a quality number that he's going to be able to do in this draft, but it's a matter of who wants to go ahead and make that move to bring him. Uh, does that end up being Cleveland that ends up getting a gem at eight? Does a team like Jacksonville say, hey, at number five, he makes a lot of sense. He's another one of those players. It's going to be very interesting to watch tonight. So there you get it. All the analysis from front office low, so what to expect. I want to have Coleman just a little higher, maybe ahead of Treadwell when you get to the receivers. Just There's a run. Just... For, for all the draft coverage, go to our website at 680thefan.com. Raglan like down just a couple of spots, but, but he's a good ball player. Close is pretty close. This has been a Nick Cellini production. <laughs>